Wood Meccano. I like this one so much, I decided I need to make a bigger model. So, set nine parts list, back to the uh, laser cutter, and here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the world's first wooden Meccano set nine, and some other bits. I quite like that large flat plate that I've done there, which shows what you can do with off-size stuff. Uh, but here you go with the rest of it. I think it looks very well. We've got uh, the triangular shapes. We've got strips, which I've uh, stained up for a, a different colour. See a lot more of them there. We've got plates, flat plates, semicircles, and then the bit that gets a bit harder to make is when you go beyond the stuff that's actually just flat. So what we've done to get like a you know a brace plate there, we we've got this a flange plate, and we put the flanges on with the flange pieces there like that. It's not perfect, but it's close enough that you can work with it. Do the same here to get myself um, a 7x5. Same here, 3x5. You can't make every piece in um, wood because of the flat nature of some of it, uh, of the wood, and some of them need a bit, a bit more 3D, but 90% of the way there, and to be honest with you, part of the aesthetic is going to be mixing it up with the metal and a bit of brass, and that's what makes it look decent along the way anyway. So, that's what I've got, and we're going to go and make a model with it. The model I'm going to try for is this. It's from set 8, 8.5, the side tipping lorry. And the reason, reason why I'm going for this is that it looks like it's one that I can do that doesn't require too much bending, because the, the wood doesn't lend itself to bending. I'm going to have to work around that a little bit and maybe slightly adapt the design to be able to make it work. But, you know, it's relatively straightforward. Let's turn the page over there. Three sort of major parts for construction. We've got the chassis here, we've got the cab there, and we've got the uh, the rear there. Uh, what I might do as well is to uh, try sticking in some of my uh, transparent Meccano in this base here, is what I'm thinking, so that we've got a little bit of variation with that as well. And uh, yeah, I think the entire thing will look great when it's finished. So let's crack on, let's get that built. So this is us getting started on the chassis. I'm quite pleased with the way this has turned out, um, went together quite well, you've got to allow a little bit for the thickness of the wood and just adapt slightly for that, but I think the combination of the wood and the metal looks pretty nice, I'm fairly well pleased with it. Um, you've got the uh, final product of the chassis coming up there more or less, and I think it looks well. So we'll just take a look at the steering mechanism, the, the wheels do turn as you move the steering wheel, and this is done via... That's this steering linkage here, which I believe is called an Ackerman steering linkage, and you can see when you turn the wheel, the various uh, strips move to, to get your steering effect on it. Quite pleased with that, it works fairly well. This is the plate bending that, um, plate bender that I use to get curved plates, and this is what we're going to use for the mug guards for the rear wheels. Not sure how well that's going to look in with the wood, but I can't bend the wooden plates, so this is what I've got to do instead. Last thing to look at the chassis, we've got this mechanism which will eventually uh, move the body of the truck up and down. When you rotate this, if you keep a, a lock on that there, and not taking it down, it, you rotate it, the various gears rotates, that worm rotates, rotates another gear, and eventually you can see that that one strip there is moving. And that's the way that you raise the body eventually through a little bit of linkage that that will be connected to. At this point in the proceedings, I'm going to ask you guys, please, if you've been watching it so far, you must be getting something out of it. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and make an ugly bald man with a cold. So, you know, give me a sympathy subscription, if nothing else. Make us a bit happier for the day. Thanks very much. On then with the cab. Fairly straightforward this, except that I had to more or less devise my own structure for the cab because the extra thickness of the um, wooden strips and the fact that you can't get them to bend means that the plan that's published it gives me a guideline but not a right lot more than that and you know had to work around that to do it but still I've finished up with something that I think looks reasonably good the contrast between the strips and the panels that you can see there you know and uh, it, it fits in well I'm quite pleased with the way it's turned out 
What do you think about it? Tell me in the comments. Is, is this a good idea, this uh, wooden Meccano set? I like it. Anyway, you, you can see more or less how it's turned now. The cab once mounted on the body there. And uh, we'll give you a look around it. Starting to come together a bit now, I think. Uh, cab on the body. Looks good uh, with that on the chassis. Still not sure about those uh, metal mug guards. I uh, wish there were a different way I could do it, but I don't see how I can just at the minute. Let me know what you think about them in the comments. Last bit coming up then, we've got this body to make. My plan in doing so is to use these um, transparent Meccano pieces that I made in my previous videos over this bit of a mechanism here. And, and that's going to be the base of the rear bit that we, we're using. So you can see the tipping mechanism when we do it, see it winding. I think that'll be something that's a, a little bit distinct on it. I mean, the entire thing's distinct with being wood, but putting the transparent stuff in as well, I think that's to it. So I've started uh, building the base up as you, as you can see here, um, comes together nicely, there's nothing complicated about this, I didn't really use the plan as it was drawn out because I wanted to incorporate the glass bottom bits which straight away changed the dimensions, well not the dimensions but the, the layout of the stuff that you got to do to get it, um, and I was quite happy with the way it came together, I got the transparent bottom in there so we'll be able to see the gears, um, eventually got it mounted onto the chassis and then really just... Uh, carried on building at it from there um you know adding bits and bats and eventually we get to the point where it's more or less built up and uh, ready to go and you'll see the finished thing very shortly 